Hey guys, Pat here with another video for you, and today I got a special video. It's a Mac Pro upgrade, as you can see the Mac Pro's up here, and we're gonna install some new memory in the new Mac Pro. Uh, I got uh, two four gigabyte sticks, and currently I have, um, I believe six gigabytes in here. I have two, two gigs and then two uh, one gigabytes. So I'm getting rid of the two one gigabytes and putting these two in there to make a total of 12. I know you should usually, when a little tip for you, uh, usually when you do memory, you should match them up with whatever you have. So if you have two bays, so you should have two four sticks or two four gigabyte sticks to each of your ports. It, that's normally what they recommend doing. So I'm going to try to split these up since I have four slots here, having uh, the two fours like here matching and then the two two gigabytes matching here, which give me 12. So um, like I think this is my first uh, upgrade memory for the Mac Pro. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them, leave them below in the comment section. But anyway, guys, let's get started with the uh, simple. This should take under two or three minutes. Of course, I'll probably have a few hiccups here and there, but it's a really simple process if you've never seen it done before on the Mac Pro. So basically all you have to do to get started is you hit the little switch over here, pop it, pops this thing out, and as you can see, here is the components of everything, and the memory sits right here. And all we have to do, there's four slots that I got here. Oh, also, I didn't mention, I did get the um, memory from crucial.com. I'll put a link down below, so if you're interested. Um, to get this, ooh, this is dusty. Whew. Man, this stuff gets very, very dusty. Holy God. I usually leave my computer on 24-7. Um, I'm just weird like that. And it collects a lot of this. But anyway, to get the slide out here is you pull these two tabs here and then you just hold on here like that and then the slide, it just slides right out. Couldn't be more simpler than that. So now I have to find which ones, okay, these two right here, these two green ones are the two gigabytes so I'm taking out these two back ones. So uh, one little tip here, make sure you uh, static discharge yourself if you've been walking around. Just touch something metal um, within your computer to relieve the static charge. If you don't, you could zap your memory. That's just a quick tip. So, back to here. Let me pop that out, and we'll get rid of this. This was the original uh, memory that came with the computer. This is a one gigabyte stick. So we're gonna take that out. Let's get the new memory. Here, as I said, this is probably gonna be edited down, so some of this stuff might go quicker than it seems. Uh, but uh, like I said, guys, this it's it's a pretty simple process. Um, Apple makes it pretty pretty simple for you to get in there. And plus, what computer system doesn't have easy to get uh, RAM? So I shouldn't say it's just Apple. It's a little biased of me to say. But they do make the ease of use a little bit easier than some systems because I know some computer systems you get into it can be very difficult to get your hands. And like I said here, it's just a little slide you pop out, boom, pop in, and you are done. So we're gonna get this one. I'm putting this this stick right here in the looks like the third um, slot. And if I did not mention at the top of the video, this is the 2010 quad core uh, Mac Pro edition, and so it has four slots of memory. I think I can put a total of 16 gigabytes in it. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's. I can put a max of 16, so right now, this is gonna put it up as um, 12. So I'm getting there. Uh, the reason for the upgrade is I do a lot of music stuff, as if you didn't know. So if you want to, I'm working on an EP right now and I've hit some some barriers with the, the uh, six gigs that I had in here currently. Um, and I'm running a bunch of programs and doing a, stuff in Logic Pro. I was just hitting hitting some max of the systems and audio would drop out but um, this should definitely put in but if you're interested in music and following the pro progress of my EP just go to toddkedwards.com and you'll find all the videos that I've done there but anyway guys like I said here was the process put the slide back in pop these in put the cover back on and then let me plug all this stuff in and we'll boot up to make sure that uh, the computer is reading everything so I'll see you in a, in a second Okay guys, we're back here. I just got the computer started and it's telling me, alerting me that I currently installed the memory modules wrong. So, basically, well actually not wrong, just saying it should, we recommendly, 
recommend link. It's not even a word. Uh, it recommends me for slot one to put the four gigabyte, the slot two to put the other four gigabyte, and slot three and four put the two gigabytes I have. Remember I told you I have two uh, four gigabytes and then two two gigabyte slots. So basically, it's that's nice that uh, OS X is telling me that the recommended uh, preference of the memory should be installed this way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off the camera and re-switch them and then load them back up to make sure that it's reading them. Actually, first let me go to about my Mac and see if it's even reading them. It, it, is, it is registering 12 gig, gigabytes of RAM, so that's good. So it actually sees it. It's just telling me that probably for, it says basically the, the memory modules installed in this system are not arranged the recommended configuration to provide optimal memory bandwidth. So basically what it's telling me is I'm not going to get the best results the way that I have it configured. So let me shut off the, um, the camera here and let me rearrange those and then we'll fire it right back on. Okay guys, we're back. Sorry about the bad lighting, but uh, here you go. I'm rebooting the Mac Pro. Um, as we did before, the memory was not in the optimal setting. So let's make sure that this time it doesn't... It's now telling me that the memory is in the recommended slots. That's great news. It's awesome that it does that. Let's go to about my Mac, but just to make sure that it's reading 12 gigabytes like it's supposed to. And it is reading 12 gigabytes. We can zoom in here so old school. So you can read it. Hope you guys enjoyed the Mac Pro upgrade of the memory install. This is my first one. I'm glad I shared it with you guys. If you have any questions, like I said before, please leave them down in the comment section. As always, guys, you can follow me up on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash Todd where I post news and my personal music stuff. Just a whole bunch of uh, rare topics, you know, guitar stuff, Apple stuff. So you can find a lot of information there. Also, I'm thinking about putting a new thing on the... Uh, the ToddKEdwards.com website is uh, an ask a question or at, uh, recommend my next video. Um, I'm a, I'll make a form on there so you guys can go on there. If you have a video you want me to do in the future or you have a question you want me to answer on a video, you can submit it there and I'll get it and I'll do that hopefully in one of the videos. And I'll make a form and everything you know, so you can leave your YouTube or Twitter so you get credit for the video and uh, your name obviously. So that would be great. Um, other than that guys, uh, thanks for watching as always. Um, uh, I can't. I, I don't do these videos because if I didn't do it without you guys' support, it would be worthless. Um, so I appreciate all your views and all your comments, all your participation. Keep it up. And if you're a new watcher to this uh, channel, please hit the subscribe button. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Until next time, guys.